listen to me. Ladies, understand. It's the Father that gave life. Amen. You have the egg that it fertilized. You delivered. Somebody say amen. amen. You brought him in, but it's the Father that gave life. That's right. Somebody say amen. amen. So the prophet says, listen to your Father who gave you life, and do not despise your mother. Somebody say amen. amen. You have you the honor. It's an honor of your Father and your mother. Because without them, you would not be here. Somebody say amen. amen. Praise God. See, see, it's okay to disagree with your, 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 your family, your parents. Somebody say amen. But be respectable. Amen. amen. All right, amen. 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 Don't tune them out. Listen, one thing I can't stand, I don't know about y'all, and my boys know I, I hate this. When I'm talking to them, I demand them to look at me. Amen. If you drop that eye, you roll that eye, you look up in the sky. If you don't look at me, I'm going to grab it on the chin. And I'm going to put it right in front of my face. Because one thing you're not going to do is tune me out. I am trying to save your life. So I say amen. I am trying to help you give you a better life than what I have. So I say amen. I want the best for you. And when I'm pouring out into you, you, one thing you're not gonna do is sit there with your little grown self and <laughs> have your phone in your hand. I'm talking. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Holy yeah. Ghost, help me right now. Yeah. Make you want to go and grab the child right now. Somebody say amen. Yeah. But amen, you, you can't. That, so children, amen. You are young, I know you're young adult, but pray to God if they counseling you, give you some solid advice, trying to help you, pray to God. The least you can do, the best you can do is listen and pay attention. Amen. Right? Because there's nothing more hateful, it's hurtful to see your child tuning you out. Amen. Walking off, turning their head, blowing. Can you hurry? And then it says something like, can you hurry up? <laughs> I got it, I got it. You mean y'all keep saying, I got it. Come on now. Mom, 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 mom. So I say amen. Mom. And sometimes, praise God, when you act that with your parent, you have that with your parent, as soon as a pastor or somebody in the church is trying to tell you something, you're the same way. All right, pastor, all right, all right, pastor. All right, all right, preacher, all right, preacher. I got it. I, mm. <laughs> Sit in the meeting. Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't come in for all that. <laughs> Some other hip law. Amen. All right, let's move on here, right? I just get out of here. Uh, means uh, include forgiveness. Do I say amen? amen. Family must be built on forgiveness because we hurt each other. Listen, families, amen, listen. You're going to hurt each other off one day, so one day, so later. Somebody in your family is going to hurt you. Amen. And you cannot build your family unless you know how to forgive. Amen. Somebody say amen? amen. Some days, a young person, amen, uh, like my boy, some, some days some day they're going to be in your house, they're going to tear something up. Somebody say amen? amen. It's going to make you want to tear them up. But sometimes you got to forgive them. Sometimes I allow my boys to do more like run and play, hit and stuff. But you know why? I remember my one, my brother who's one year older than me. I remember a time that we wanted to play, run and hit and whatever. And we'd be playing and my mom would come in with an iron card and whoop both of us. <laughs> you ain't tearing my house up. Okay. You all play and get outside and get in the dirt. <laughs> Amen. So sometimes, friends, I see my boys playing around the house and knocking the camera. But then sometimes, friends, I say, all right. Knock a hole in the wall, break a door. Come on, say amen. amen. I know they play, but sometimes I'm like, eh, I don't play for a little while. But after a while, I'd be like, all right, all right, all right. And then sometimes we get that deep voice. Y'all hear me right? <laughs> because, amen, sometimes praying God, amen. Forgiveness, amen, must be a must in the house. You have to forgive each other. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. All right, let's move on here, right? Uh, amen. Proverbs 22.
20 and 20 says, write this down, Proverbs 20 and 20. Now get this now. This is what it says. Proverbs 20 and 20. If you curse your parents, disobey them, talk about them, disrespect them. Look what it says. Your life will end like a lamp that goes out in the dark. Amen. Can I read it again? Uh -huh. To get it? Proverbs 20 and 20. Now I'm going to get this. If you curse your parents, your life, whose life? Your life. Your life will end like a lamp that goes out in the darkness. So I say amen? How many had a battery or a flashlight or whatever, you in the dark, and then the light go out? What you start doing? You start hitting it? Come on, I don't know what hitting it does, but we start, come on, that ain't that right? We start trying to get it back. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Come on now. Not now. Come on, come on. Your life will be the same way. Nothing is going to work in your life. Nothing will go right. Praise God, your life will go out like a lamp if you curse your parents. That you don't respect parents. Come on, say amen. 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 All right, let's move on here, right? Amen. Now, let me, let me ask you this right here, and I'm going to move on. It says, uh, if you say stuff like, you make me mad, how do you say to a parent, you make me mad? Or you don't say, make me mad, you say, you make me sick. Or you get all my... Young people, have y'all said that? No. I see somebody smiling. Look at me smiling. Look at some people looking at their children going, Woo, Jesus. Uh, sometimes the children say, Mama, you get on my nerve. Mama, you don't say get on my nerve, say you tripping. Yeah. Why y'all were tripping? <laughs> somebody say, man. What you, what's going on, man? Man, my mom and dad were tripping, man. <laughs> Amen. All right, so, so listen. If you say... That they, they get on your nerve or make you mad, you will just admit it that you have control over me. Whatever somebody do to you, you admit it. That means they have control over you. Somebody say amen? Yes. Amen. So stop saying what, what all the people are doing to you. Because you give them control over you. Let's move on here, right? Amen. Now, uh, two things that you could, you two things. You can appreciate about your parents, regardless of who you who they were. You can appreciate their efforts. So I say, man, yeah. appreciate the effort. See, being a parent is difficult. Time demanding and energy draining job. See, being a parent is difficult. Anybody, any parent in here that just that help me out here? It's a hard thing to parent today, is it not? It's draining. Come on, somebody. Sometimes it's a unthankful job. Amen. Sometimes you do things for the children and they don't want to say thank you. Amen. Oh, somebody say amen. amen. And sometimes, praise God, the reason why you appreciate the parents, you can appreciate their sacrifice. Parenting is expensive. Yeah, right. All the good hate in the hand, right there. One more over here. Come on, come on, with it, preacher. I can preach this thing. Parenting is expensive. Do you not know a survey was done, praise God, that today can raise a child, one child. To maturity, it will cost you about a quarter of a billion dollars. That's two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So I say amen? amen. And there's nothing more stupid than these young girls on Mari's show. I'm gonna have my baby. I'm gonna have me something I can take care of. You can't even take care of yourself. Amen. You can't even buy milk. Amen. You can't come on, somebody. You're a thirteen year old. You ain't got no job. Come on, say amen. amen. You can't even finish school. That's right. Talk about, I'm going to have my baby. I don't care what my mama say. You and nobody else. Boy, I'll be watching my wife and told I said, boy, if I can get through that TV clean, woo! Come on, say amen. amen. Because you don't know nothing. You're just sitting and down what you want to be. Don't you know it's expensive to raise a child? Amen. If you don't have the money, somebody got to pay. And somebody go to pay. Thank God you are in America where we have uh, 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 the welfare. This country has a welfare that will take care of you. Yeah. And take care of your child. Somebody say amen. amen. Raising children is expensive. Somebody got to pay. Amen. If you don't have the money, then somebody who's working tax dollars, federal and state tax dollars, we're going to pay the cost. Y'all going to say amen for me, right? Amen. amen. So, so you said that thing about I'm going to have him a baby. And that dog ain't got no job. He got four or five other churches. Come on, somebody. Ain't me by some other girls you know about. If you want to have another baby, somebody have to pay. It's a 
expensive to raise a child. That's why you ought to appreciate your parents. Somebody say amen. amen. You ought to appreciate them. That's why I tell my boys all the time. When you're in public school now it's for 40 years, if you don't make it in four years, they're going to let you go. Public school is free. Somebody say amen. amen. Take the piano lesson. Take the single lesson. Somebody say amen. amen. Take the shop. Take the electrical course. Somebody say amen. amen. Go to the auto shops. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. It's free. Because when you graduate, everything else, amen, is going to cost you. Oh, and the pastor, what you say? One semester at Georgia Southern is how much? $10,000. Did y'all hear that? One semester is $10,000. Somebody say amen. amen. And it got to be paid before you start. It ain't going to put nothing on the credit. Somebody say amen. amen. It ain't no payment plan. Somebody give God a hand for that. Raising children to maturity is a costly thing. That's why you ought to appreciate your parents. Amen. Somebody said, well, they didn't give me all that I want. They did the best they could. That's right. Somebody say amen. amen. That's what we want her to get, get you out of here. Amen. Amen. Now, last one is as an adult. I honor my parents by affirming and not abandoning them. Somebody say amen. amen. Do you not know that parents live a long life? Do you not know, praise God, that your parents, as you become an adult, you get your own children? Somebody say amen. amen. You have your own life. Uh, you start doing your own thing. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. You move into your own place. You might leave that city or leave that state. Somebody say amen. amen. Don't you know when parents get by themselves, they are lonely? Yes. And, and as an adult, your job and how you honor them as an adult is every now and then, praise God, Mama, I called just to say hello. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. She called her mama at least amen. They talk every day. At least, what, four to five times every day. Amen. amen. Brother, he ready? He talking to his mama every day. Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> when we go on a trip, amen, in the car, we leaving now, mama. When we get there, we get the ride, mama. When we first got married, brother, it made me mad. I'm like, I don't tell them I'm everything. <laughs> <laughs> we just got up, mama. <laughs> <laughs> just call saying good night. I'm on the corner going. Good <laughs> tell everything. <laughs> so the same time, I got one right here. He's a he's a male, so I didn't know. See so like, so now you understand my pain, so you pray for me, I pray for you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. The best way to have that is just accept it. They, it's their way of honor that mother and affirming who they are. Amen. Mama, we're going to hear it. What do you think? Listen, as the parent get older, call them, pray God, and let them counsel you. You might not do nothing they say. Just ask them and let them talk. Amen. Are you hearing me? Right Amen. Pray God. And, you, and when you ask them, they start telling you. Don't be that one. I wish I never said that. No, no, let them talk. You might walk out and do something totally different. That's okay. They will feel good. Yes. Because, amen, no matter what, how many of you parents have told, you, have told your children, if you listen to me, I'm trying to tell you, baby. I'm trying to save you. I'm trying to save you. I, I, my, 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 see, my mama tells me all the time, I might only have a third grade education, but you listen to me. So I say amen. amen. Well, my mama told me, she said, son, your high school days are your best days. And in my mind, you know what I said in my mind? Yeah. When I was a freshman or sophomore, you know what I said in my mind? How you know you were in the third grade? You didn't tell me. <laughs> How you gonna tell me that? You don't know, you don't know about no finishing school. I didn't tell her, I didn't want to get knocked out. But in my mind, but when I graduated, praise God, and thought I had to pay for my own stuff yes. and do my own thing, right? Come on, somebody. I would, yes. Mama, you know, 